The authentic flavors of Latin America have long been overshadowed by Tex-Mex. Yet there's so much more to it than tacos and guacamole. Enter Cafe Aroma Latino, a bastion of authentic Southern and Central American cuisine located in Halifax, bustling North End. Okay, so I'm here with Chef Claudia. So tell us a little bit about where you're from. Okay, yeah, I'm from Guatemala, the, down below Mexico, the Central America. That's the part, the tiny, tiny place down there. So uh, we immigrated in the 80s. Uh, in New Brunswick. Oh. And then in the 90s, I moved to uh, Halifax uh, to go to university. Got you. Okay. And then so you went to university here, but then what inspires you to kind of jump into the restaurant and retail world? The, the background of cooking, it's go back uh, in generations. My great grandmother was a cook. It was something that I was considering but I didn't know that I would end up um, having my own coffee shop and be able to cook. Yeah, right? and so. what's so great about your place and why the food's so good, it's so, what I would think is authentic. And, mm -hmm. and I know, like looking at your menu, you see that you don't just, I think North Americans are guilty of grouping South, South American, Central American cuisine into one pot, but you identify if it, the empanadas are Argentinian or Colombian or dishes Guatemalan or Mexican. How important to you is it to kind of educate people about the differences? Yes, I think it's very important to emphasize uh, each country for their own uniqueness. So before I done the menu, I travel around those countries and try the foods and try the most uh, the stickles that is more popular to it. So every country has their uniqueness again. Um, their spices are completely different. Like comparing from Mexico to Central America, Mexico has this, uh, it's very popular for peppers, right? And uh, hot spices, right? And Central America, it is most of a corn. And then you get that South America going down, which is a variety of food and combinations of it, because they have their own um, areparina, that they, they make the empanadas and the arepas de huevo or chapas, but that one is a pre cook flowers, right? Ah, okay. So it, it, that's a, a completely different way of uh, dividing the country. Yeah, so, I, right? I guess we forget how big Central and South America yes, are and, and, right. and that there are such diverse regional differences. What I love about your place too is, and I'm going to go shopping after this interview, is the you have a retail store too. That's so right. I think we should go into the kitchen and make some to stop. Well, we can go in and uh, you can join me and then I can show you step by step how to do that. Perfect. So I've got my amazing tostadas here filled with homemade chorizo, pickled vegetables, queso fresco, a little homemade salsa, a beautiful cafe con leche made with Guatemalan bean, coffee beans. Uh, if you want to join me, well, come down to the corner of North Street and Grickle and Halifax's bustling North End and experience authentic Central and South American cuisine. I was so very inspired by the flavors of Cafe Latino Roma. I wanted to do something that was similar at our home, but with a Haligonian twist. So we're going to make some mini tostadas. Half will be classic with just ground chorizo, some pickled vegetables and jalapeno sauce. The others will be based on donaire. So I'm going to do a Haligonian donaire tostada. So what do we have to do to start? To make Halifax inspired mini donaire tostadas start by preheating an oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a one and a half inch to two inch diameter jarlet, cut out circles from corn tortillas. Place those corn tortillas in the muffin tins and weigh them down with a couple beans or chickpeas. Place them in the oven for 10 minutes to bake. To make your filling, place one clove of garlic minced, one teaspoon of onion powder, and a couple teaspoons of hot sauce in a bowl. Add a splash of water. Now add half a pound of grand lamb and mix well. Form into a large patty, place in a cast iron frying pan with a little oil, sear on one side, flip it over, break it up with a wooden spoon and cook until nicely browned and you're ready to go. Okay, to give you a recap, I grounded off my lamb with the spices and herbs, grounded off the chorizo just as it was. Then I made a pickled vegetables, a jalapeno sauce, a homemade doner sauce, and the little tostada crisp. So to plate for the Mexican inspired one, just a little of the chorizo, a little bit of pickled veg, and a touch of a jalapeno sauce, done. 
And for our more Donaire inspired one, that lovely Donaire meat, that ground lamb, a little homemade Donaire sauce, a little sprig of oregano. What's left to do? Well, I got to eat it and have some wine. So I'm going to have a little fresh South American Argentinian wine, maybe Bernarda, Cabernet Franc, all work. Let's go. Donaire one is surprisingly good. And uh, I'm sure I know that the Mexican one is. So anyway, enjoy.